look at the answers for the geometry question here. So we have railway tracks which are lines. Computer screen is a plane. The dust particles are like points. We have the torch light which beams out rays. Take all the options below which show pairs of parallel lines. So parallel lines are lines which are drawn in such a way so that they never meet at all. Here if you see these lines when I extend it they will definitely meet. So this is not a set of parallel lines. These are intersecting lines. C is yes parallel lines because they go on when I extend it on either side but they will not meet. D again is parallel line. E is also a set of parallel lines whereas F is a set of intersecting lines. So let's look at the next one. The next one is identify and write whether the angle given is acute, obtuse or right. <coughs> acute angles are those which are less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angles are those which are greater than 90 degrees and right angles are those which are exactly 90 degrees so they are called perpendicular. We notice that here it is more than 90 degrees so I'm going to write this as O which means it's an obtuse angle. Remember O would be for obtuse, A would be for acute and R would be for right. The next one, this is less than 90 degrees so it is an acute angle. The next one is a right angle because it is perpendicular. This is an acute angle again. The next one is also an acute angle and the last one here is a right angle. Take all the nets of a cube. So this is something which I would like you to definitely try it out. Take out cuttings maybe from square sheets of paper and fold it and see which one of them is actually turning out to be a cube. So it's, it's very interesting and it's a hands-on activity. You will notice that 4A will turn out to be a cube. You will not have B and C making a cube and you will have D again making a cube. The next question is look at the circle and fill in the blanks. Point dash is the center of the circle. We notice that point O is the center of the circle. Line segments dash and dash are the diameters of the circle. We notice that AB is a diameter because it joins two points along the periphery of the circle or the circumference and it passes through the center. So we have AB which is a diameter and similarly we also have DE which is the next diameter. If you can see the picture here, yes. DE is the other diameter. Line segments dash, dash, dash and dash are the radii of the circle. So here we notice that it is AO or OA, OD, OB and OE. So let me just name it. Remember you can write it as AO or you can write it as OA. Both are acceptable. AO we have DO, then we have OE and we have OB. So these are the radii of the particular circle. And let's now look at the next question here, which goes on to say, complete the table where the radii is given or the radius is given and the diameter is asked. Diameter is double the radius so 5 becomes 10, 20 is the diameter and radius would be half of it which means this is 10, 14 is the diameter and the radius is 7, radius is 3 here and the diameter would be 6. So fabulous. So now let's look at the next question. The next question is all about drawing the lines of symmetry for the images. So the line of symmetry for this is when I fold it across a straight line. Please make use of a ruler and draw a straight line. When I fold it across this line, I get two equal halves, which means that's a line of symmetry. Similarly, I have another line of symmetry here. For the next figure, it is the line of symmetry which goes right across this way. For the third one, I have one line of symmetry where I fold it across here and the other line of symmetry where I fold it across here. And the last picture, this would be the line of symmetry where I fold it, I will get two equal halves.
Let me make sure that it's a straight line for you so that you're able to see it. So when I fold it across here, I get two equal halves. The next question is draw the reflection of the images given below, which means you have this as a line of symmetry and you have to on the left side and complete the figure. So here is what I have drawn and please check whether you have got it correct. So if you have enjoyed this, log on to the website and get many more interesting ones.